Spine has suggested to upgrade the hard drive. Now, on these machines and a lot of the older machines, they have what's called an HDD, a hard disk drive. So it's actually a mechanical uh, device. Uh, it's got a lot of space um, and stuff, but it's not as fast as what they call a solid state drive. Well, no m m moving parts. It's essentially like a USB drive. So it's a, a couple of chips on the inside. So the idea is that the speed is going to be a lot faster. So uh, I'm going to walk you through in this, uh, in this tutorial on how to change out a drive and boot it up and uh, <coughs> do a few bits and pieces. So what I decided to get for it is, as you saw earlier, is uh, this little drive here, uh, WD Blue. It's um, it's a 500 gig drive and it's there 3D. Can you see there 3D? Oh, so I got this uh, drive from Canada Computers. It's uh, 189 bucks uh, plus stealth, so it comes to about uh, 200 bucks. And it's actually very small, and very light, and so this is hopefully going to give me a lot more uh, speed. That's what I'm really after, speed. So um, this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to. I want to run a benchmark first of all on this machine um, using a uh, using a piece of software called Crystal Mark. Um, and then what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm not going to do. So the way you've probably seen on YouTube <clears throat> is you connect this to an external port and then image it. What I want to do is when I originally got this machine I had them do a, a copy of uh, a system image on here but I haven't had a chance to test it we really only use it after actually that's a lie I have actually tested it uh, but what I want to do is I want to um, check out this um, this copy so what I'm going to do instead of imaging from the machine to here I'm going to actually uh, remove the hard drive put this one in because it's blank so I've got that as a backup then I'm going to image it using a discs and I have already got a whole bunch of these where I've backed up so I'm just going to restore the copy so, so that's what we're going to do uh, I'm not going to do it the certain way so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to boot the machine up I'm going to load up the software and I'm going to show you a benchmark of what it is before we do the SST. I've um, installed the software. I'm going to run it and it's going to show me what the sequential speed write speeds are. So let's do that now. So it's finished and as you can see uh, the, first, it, the figures are very very low as one would expect. So the first one which is a sequential reading is only 70 megabytes a second and writing at 76 megabytes a second. And the other one you want to look at is this one which is a 4 gig, uh, sorry 4 kilobytes. Uh, so that's what it does in the background. Uh, when it moves stuff around it moves, moves that kind of the files around in the background. It's 0.59 three uh, megabytes a second or uh, read write 0.73 now looking at this if we look at this drive here we're expecting 560 meg read or 530 write as opposed to 70 so it should be blazing fast so what I'm going to do I'm going to save all this stuff and then I'm going to show you how we change the drive out you see we've uh, now shut the machine down now, obviously make sure that everything is disconnected. Then what we do is we uh, turn the computer over. Now this is specific to the Toshiba satellite, okay? Now, on the satellite you have the battery here. Uh, what we want to do is, uh, there's a clip here. Undo that clip there. Pull this clip here. And then push. And the battery comes out, okay? Now the next thing, which is really good on the satellites, which you've seen other... If you've seen other computers, it can be a bit of a pain. But this panel here on the back uh, comes out. Now, there's usually held by one, one screw there, but I've uh, taken the screws out previously. It gets something underneath here. Um, pull it. Okay. This is the drive. Um, it's not screwed in in any way. You just pull back here and then take this out, and that's the drive there. Bam. Now, what I would suggest before you go out and buy a drive, if you look in, you can do one of two things. If you look here, you can see what the, t the drive is called.
So now we're going to take the other one apart and see what we've got. I'm going to keep this to a side here. And there it is. That's all it is. Small, tiny, teeny thing. Look at that. So I just want to say that the advantage of doing this also is that this is a good working known disc that I know works fine. By doing a, a clean copy, you're actually getting rid of any junk that's actually on there. So I'm going to essentially start from as if being a new machine. And actually what I'm going to do from it being a new machine with new software and everything, I'm going to test it with no other issues. Then what I've got is I've got my backups and I'm just going to reinstall the, some of the software which I have and then just copy back across. And if I still have any issues, I can always image this over to it. So there's no, nothing, uh, no, uh, nothing wrong with that. So this is quite light, but this is just like nothing. And it's got the same uh, connections on there. If you can see, there are the same connections. And all we do is flip it in and done. Now, put the power on. And now we're going to boot it up. But if I power it on, you know what's going to happen, right? There's no operating system on there. Right? So it should now try to boot up the CD because it can't find an operating system on there. Boot failed, great. So it's going to try to boot up, I'm hoping. So now it's found the CD, it's going to start booting up. Got it to a stage where it's ready to uh, do a recovery. What we're going to do is The first one, recovery of factory default software, recovery to out of box state. We don't need to erase the hard disk because basically it's a brand new hard disk. So if we do next. And we want to recover to out of box state. System recovery options are included. Next. Next. Oh, from past, uh, this takes quite a while. So I'm not going to do all the different screens because it may be different for your machine. This is what the Toshiba Recovery Wizard does. So I'm going to come back to you once this is all loaded up because it's basically hitting buttons and just leaving it to, to run. Okay, so don't go away. So guys, I'm um, back again. I managed to... Uh, reinstall everything back to basically out of the box um, it's it took a lot less than I remember doing it with the hard drive because I've done that before when I've done stupid things and I've had to reload and uh, I ran a uh, crystal disk mark and as you can see look at the difference so if you remember this uh, this first one was 70 and now we're looking at 257 meg and the write speed of uh, 240 meg. Um, everything else, as if you remember, was less than one. So 0 0.0 something, all of these figures. The only thing I would say, only thing I would say is if you say, look at this, it says up to 560 megabyte. Oh yeah, right. So it says up to 560, read up to 530, right. So maybe that's dependent on the hardware. Um, and if I remember rightly, this uh, SSD uses a six gig um, interface, whereas the previous one was a three gig. So I think that would kind of make sense. So the interface on which connects to the hard drive is half as much. So instead of being six, it's three, which that's pretty much half. So yeah, that, those figures kind of make a uh, difference. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reinstall all my stuff. I've got backups, so I can put them on. Instead of re-imaging, I'm going to, it's, it's it's a good idea to re-image, but it's a better idea to do a clean install. You get rid of all the crap. And the, the best thing is, is because I have my old, own hard, my old hard drive, if I need to, I can just swap them in and out as I need to. I'm going to use this as a, just a backup. And sorry, my previous one as a backup and this. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's a, a quite easy way to uh, 
get some speed uh, it boots it up a lot quicker and I'm sure when I do my work it's going to be a lot faster especially the, the video stuff so um, that's it so uh, thanks for uh, steering, tuning in and staying in, in track with me yours truly the big J Adrian J and uh, watch out for more stuff on Jay's computers only here on Adrian J online and don't forget if you like like <laughs> hit the like button and subscribe oh and please if you have any questions at all on this or any requests or anything like that don't hesitate put a note in there and i'm sure i'll try and sort you out okay take it easy bye for now god bless i'm out of here like a thief in the night